Hello everyone! So in this series talking about New Year's resolutions, one of the main things I want to focus on is changing out the products in your home for non-toxic ones. And for me, the most important one you can change out are anything with artificial fragrance. Artificial fragrance is absolutely horrible for you. It is not tested by the FDA before it's put on the market. It um, it can have any chemicals that they want in it. They don't have to list the ingredients in the artificial fragrance. They're allowed to just list artificial fragrance or perfume on the ingredients list. So honestly, like when you're using things with artificial fragrance, you really don't know what's in it. And because it's not monitored or regulated and they don't have to list the ingredients, you know that companies are going to put whatever they want in it. They're gonna put what's cheap and what smells good. They don't care about your health. They don't care about if the artificial fragrance is messing with your hormones. They don't care about any of that. They just want you to buy their product because it smells good. Um, but I really want to show you that you can make your home smell amazing without these artificial fragrances. First, the most obvious thing you can do to make your home smell amazing is diffusing essential oils. Now, I like to diffuse essential oils um, really anytime. You see, I'm always diffusing on my living room. I diffuse in my bedroom, I diffuse in my bathroom, I diffuse on my desk, I diffuse in my kitchen. Um, but first off, essential oils smell amazing and I promise you, you can find a blend that you really like. It might be just a basic one like orange or it might be a more, more of a blend like purification but I promise you, you can find a blend that you love. And the thing about it is that it's not just that it smells good, but it's actually purifying the air. So it's helping to get rid of the gross things in the air. So like when you spray um, Febreze or you light a candle, it, it might smell good, but it's not actually cleaning the air and making it smell clean and get rid of any smells you're trying to cover up. It's only just covering it up but essential oils are going to not only make it smell good, but also purify it. So once you're done diffusing, your home is gonna smell better already. So for example, uh, after I bake a meal at home, I don't like the way that the smell of food lingers in my kitchen, and so I will diffuse purification and grapefruit, which is my favorite blend, and I will diffuse that, and not only will it cover up the scent of the bacon or whatever I just cooked, but it will also get rid of the smell so even in an hour when i'm done diffusing or you know in two hours or however long you want to diffuse that smell is going to be gone it's not just going to be covered up and it's also just going to be so much better for you than using that artificial fragrance um the next thing i love to diffuse is in the bathroom I will diffuse in the bathroom just if I want it to smell good for guests coming over, if I need to get rid of any gross scent, or if I am cleaning and I just want it to smell really clean in there. I will also sometimes, if I don't want to diffuse and I just need to get rid of, um, you know, an odor in there, it is a bathroom, I leave my little thieves spray in the bathroom instead of an artificial room spray that way I can use it or a guest that uses the bathroom can use it and it's going to keep it smelling really fresh in there instead of the artificial fragrance that you may be used to using. Um, another thing I love about a fragrance in the home is cleaning. Uh, a lot of times when you clean, your cleaner doesn't really smell good. Um, like if you're using most traditional cleaners, it smells kind of really toxic. And honestly, for a lot of people, and for me personally too, it even gives me a headache. And it like smells really gross to me. And I know it's a cleaner, but it just, it smells gross. It's like after you clean the bathroom with, you know, your toilet bowl cleaner and your scrubbing bubbles and whatever brand you're using, then it's like, it doesn't smell clean yet because it smells toxic and you want to wait until after the smell has gone away for the bathroom to smell clean. Whereas sometimes I will have 
just cleaned the bathroom yesterday and if I want it to smell really fresh in there I will just quickly spray some thieves cleaner with some like purification or citrus fresh or peppermint in there and I will just wipe down the counter really quick or just do something really quick cleaning just to spray the cleaner in there because it just smells so good lastly I want to talk about the candle flicker setting on the young living desert mist diffuser now I know a lot of times we use candles for the aesthetic like um using a candle in a home as decor or lighting it you know on the kitchen counter when someone co comes over because the aesthetic is really pretty a lot of people also love to use candles when taking baths again because of the aesthetic it's a really nice aesthetic to have you love to light candles late at night when it's snowing outside and you want it to feel cozy well young living's desert mist diffuser actually has a candle flicker setting on the led option so when you turn on your diffuser you can choose which color you want and there is an orange candle flicker setting now i know it's not going to look exactly like a candle but when you're in a dark bathroom taking a bath, it really does simulate that candle flicker that you love when you're taking a bath or when I'm just sitting in a my dark living room at night when it's cozy and it's snowing outside and just maybe reading a book or watching TV. That candle flicker setting, again, like I'm diffusing, so I'm getting the scent from diffusing and then I use the candle flicker setting to really simulate that cozy feeling that a lot of us really like to have and I feel like that is a lot of the appeal of candles is they smell good but it's really the aesthetic and so I love that diffusers are beautiful I think it looks really attractive I personally put as you can see I keep a jar of water by my diffusers and I use old candle holders that I have to put it in there so like during the winter I have a snowflake one during the fall I have an owl and leaf one um just during non like summer and things I have just a plain one but I love to just use these to make it look really pretty you can keep no jar next to your diffuser you can keep just a regular bottle next to your diffuser you can do whatever you want but I really like the mason jar and a candle holder look and I also already had candle holders from when I used to use candles which I don't use candles at all anymore and I probably never will use a candle ever again but you can really get the beautiful aesthetic of candles both in decor and the candle flicker setting without putting those toxins in your in your home and harming your hormones and your family and their health so um yeah this year i want to challenge you to switch out your fragrance as far as candles to try different room sprays like purification after cooking or thieves spray uh, in the bathroom and I want to encourage you to use the candle flicker setting instead of using candles in the bathroom when taking a bath or on a cozy night in your living room. I really challenge you to try this out and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching!